Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's the morning here. <laughs> and I'm here with another Share It Saturday video. And I mean, if you've seen the past videos, you know this is where me and other another group of ladies get together and we share things as far as concerning our um silhouette cameo, the cricket, and the scanica. Or there's other cutting machines out there, but then the three that we're using in this particular collab. So make sure you check down in the comments below and go check out all the other lovely ladies. All right. So today is a little bit different video. So I had a question about printing. Now I can only, you know, talk about how I print or what I do, okay? And you know, some other little tidbits I think about as I go through this. So I have a Epson 7710 and a uh, Epson 7720, and they are wide format printers. So if I'm not mistaken, I can print from like 12 inches to, I don't know, I think 46 six feet or something like that so a long piece of paper right <laughs> you know and i can go through the back or you know you can put it into the front um thing so i can print you know white paper on there and that comes into play like when you got the silhouette depending on that's my motivational thing on my on my phone um you know what you're trying to do like your larger printed cuts you know cutting off those large prints that you be doing and you don't have to do a whole lot of 12 by 12 you can just do 12 by 24 or whatever the case may be. So I'm going to show you some little tidbits that I know I um, learned, learned, whatever, this uh, process as far as how to do this by watching other YouTube videos. So it ain't something I came up with myself. Mostly Silaholic Anonymous, and I'll have the link to her channel down below. And I think she'd be, her link is in all of my um, videos. But okay, so let me go through here. All right, so to be able to print, so say I have whatever I want to print on here. So I'm just going to do a shape. I don't know. I should have had something already ready to go, but I didn't. So there we go. <laughs> just so we have something to look at, right? What is so y'all going to have something to look at? Uh, we're going to put a little bit of color in here. Right there. And I hate when the line is on, so I always take it off. All right, so I'm go over here to my first one. I don't know what's this called. Let me bring it up and see. This is the page setup. Of course, this is where you're going to go and get your page set up for whatever it is that you are trying to do, right? So here, and I might discuss in my very first video. So here is, you know, saying what machine you're using. Of course, I have the cameo. You got the portrait and all those other good ones on there. Here is where you say what cutting mat. Usually, if I'm cutting some, I'm using a 12 by 12, right? So it's the 12 by 12, the 12 by 24, 8 by 12 for your portrait. It's a stamp. You got your um, pixie scan, right? So mostly, I'm using the Cameo 12 by 12 or the Cameo 12 by 24, and these are just the mats. Like you know how you get the mat from Amazon, those 12 by 12 mats or the 12 by 24 mats, right? So that lets you know what you're cutting on. And that is because each one, so this is a 12 by 12. Let me go back up here. So if I do the 12 by 24, let me back it up so you can see. You'll see my mat is longer. See? Now, my mat is the 12 by 24, but my media size, which means my paper, my 8.5 by 11 paper, my 12 by 12 paper, designer paper, or my 12 by 24 paper is at 12 by 12. So that's why all you see here is this white. And this right here is like this offish, you know, the gray color, I guess you can say right here. And hopefully y'all can see this. Yeah, you can see the red, you can um, see the red line right there. So to get my media to be the same, I'm going to go here and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to click my 12 by 24. And that gets my page so that means i'm working on this whole page right here so when i'm printing cut like i see i can do that with my 7710 the print and cut or just you know put it you know just my regular um just using the cameo without any printing cut it's the same thing because as you know you can still go and do your registration marks on this one also just like you do on your eight and a half by 11 or your 12 by 12. let me turn that off okay so remember that when you are trying to do those large views, you have to change. Go back here. You have to change the the cutting mat and 
the mat, I mean, in the media size. Now, of course, you can put two 12 by 12s on there, you know, tape it down. It just depending on what you're, you know, you're trying to do or whatever. It's not going to be, you're trying to cut a large image. It's not going to be one continuous thing. You still have to tape it together, but you can do it. You know what I'm saying? So there you have it, right? And you also need this on there to print. Now, like I said, being the one that I have, I could actually change this, right? So say um, I can change my, uh, so the width is going to be the same. Say I could change this to, I don't know. 36 oh to be able to get it um to longer pages you can have this on cameo because cameo only gonna go to 24 so up here where it says machine you click it and you're going to say none so if i say none that's may not it's not a cutting mat because i need it to be larger than that you know 12 by 24 and in my media size so this is now this is 12 by 24. I'm going to change this to 36. And my media, so that means I can do like rolled paper, right? And that's how I get that to change. So now, I can still, you know, put it on my mat. Or Well, this is as far as printing. That's what I'm talking about printing. My bad, y'all. <laughs> as far as printing from the Cameo to my printer. So I would turn off the Cameo, right? So the machine is going to be none. The cutting mat is going to be none. And then my media size, my piece of paper, is what I'm going to be changing the size. And then, as you can see, it got my paper got longer. It went to 36 inches. So I'll go ahead and design what I'm going to design on here and send it through my printer. Now, this is for, like, banners, you know what I'm saying? Or, like I said, your road media where you're able to get long banners. Or if you want to do the printing cut. I don't think you can do a printing cut on here because you can't turn it on machine. So anything you're going to do on here, you know, you're going to have to, like, if you print it something larger out than the 12 by 12, you're going to have to manually cut that out, right? And so that's how you do that. Now, as far as printing, this, you have to make the change. Go ahead and design what you're going to design. You're going to come over here to File, and then you have to go to Print Page Setup. Click on that. And here, you know, it's going to say Select Any Printer. Of course, I would, you know, do my uh, 717 or 20, whatever the case may be. And you have to change the paper size, because right here, it is saying eight and a half by eleven. So, of course, I did a thirty-six, which means I would have to manage, you know, go in here and custom that particular size. But say I didn't, I'm just using because I ain't about to go do that right now. Say I want to use one of these, I can just because I've done the eleven by seventeen, and you could do it, you know, borderless or or the regular size. You know what I'm saying? You got your thirteen by nineteen pieces of paper that you can, buy. of course, you got your, you know. What is this? Five and a half by eight. So you have to change it here. Like I said, being that I did the 12 by 36, I would have to make a custom. It will come in here. And I will go ahead on and change those paper sizes. My 12 and my 36. I would, you know, save, name it something and save it. All right? And cancel that. And then I will hit OK. In this case, I'm going to cancel. So I will hit OK. Then I will come over to File, Print. So, in a nutshell... I get what I want to have. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm hand all the way. <laughs> Let me use this. <laughs> I forgot my camera right here. So, I will come over here to my page setup. Machine none. Cutting mat none. Media size custom. Right? I'm going to make my larger size here. My width is 12 and my height, whatever I want my height to be. Design my actual item or whatever I'm going to item. And I'm ready to print. Right? So, now that I got this set... I need to come over here, print setup, make the same modifications, you know what I'm saying? Make sure it has that same uh, measurements as over there, all right? I'm going to say OK. Then I'm going to file, and this is where I'm going to print after I've done those two things, right? I'm going to say I only want one. Of course, you know, it's going to say something different because I will have the different measurements. So, you know what? Let's just do one that's already on there, y'all. Okay, let's do that. Let's do... Let me look at here. Uh, 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 uh. You know what? I don't know why they don't do. Uh, I need 11 by 17. I don't like these numbers. They and um. So there we go. A3. So this is more about 11 by 17, right? So I'm gonna go up here to file, print page setup. I'm gonna do the. Um, 11 by 17 tabloid is what it says on here. I'm gonna hit that. I'm gonna hit okay. I'll go over here to file, print, 
All right, let me see, I want one. Now, like I said, on my printer, it's going to come in as, you know what I'm saying, once I send it to the printer. Um, do I want to keep this size? And I don't know if it's just an Epson thing. Because, of course, you know, it's usually 8 half by 11. And it's saying the print job that I'm sending to it is actually 11 by 17. So it's asking me, you know, on my printer itself, you know, do I got 11 by 17 paper in there? Because right now you only got 8 half by 11. We're not ready for this. You know what I'm saying? To go put a piece of paper in the, I'm either... Change the front of it out, you know, pull it and change the measurements because I can go to 11 by 17 or, you know, feed it through the back of the printer, you know, the usual thing. And then this is where I'm going to hit print. Now, of course, if it goes, it ain't going to print because I ain't on my um, printer um, network or whatever the case may be, right? This is going to be over here ready to print. And, of course, now that I said that, I can hear my printer trying to, but, of course, I'm going to say no because I ain't even got no 11 by 17 in there. <clears throat> and see here, it says mismatch between the print setting on your computer and printer. And this is where I'm going to go to my printer and tell it, no, print 11 by 17 because I'm not doing 8 and a half by 11. Like I say, I have an Epson 7710 and a 7720. The only difference between the two is the 7710 only has one um, paper tray in the front. And the 7720 has two paper trays in the front. It's only this different between the two of those, the two printers. So I'm, yeah, I'm going to hit, I mean, of course, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm going to hit cancel print because I'm not going to do that. And it's just sitting right now. So, like I said, um, someone had a question about that. That's how I do it. It might be an easier way. I'm not for sure. But if I'm printing something large, even on my, um, like, 11 by 17 or 12 by 24, uh, as far as Mac go or whatever, because you have to go over here. I'm going to change the machine to none. If I'm going larger than a 12 by 24, if I'm going under a 12 by 24, I can use my... You know, I'm using my Cameo because I can cut it from here. Because I can get, you know, get my 12 by 24 mat and put it on there, right? <laughs> okay, that's as far as cutting. Like I said, it's good. Um, so if I'm going larger, it's because I'm doing rolled medium. I'm doing a rolled piece of paper, putting it in, and I'm doing a long banner. See, I want to put scrappy tape on a banner, and I want it to be longer than 24 inches, right? I want it to be 36. I'm going to use my rolled medium, put it through the front of my machine. Change my measurements in here and print. And it's going to do 36. All right. Hopefully I explained and helped somebody out. Um, if not, I apologize if I didn't answer your question. If you have any questions already, let me know down below. Make sure you go check out those other awesome ladies. And if it's something that I missed on here, make sure you put it down below so that maybe I can learn something new or it's something I didn't know because I'm always up for learning new things. Trust me. I mean, it's... This machine has a lot of stuff over here. And being that I have the, I think the business edition, a lot of stuff I just don't use. So if you have a question or want to know something or want to teach me something, make sure that you comment down below or email me or something like that at scrappy.tate at gmail.com. It will be in the comments down below. And like I mentioned before, make sure you go check all the other la lovely ladies out on their channel and see what they have for us on this um, Share It Saturday. Alrighty, everyone. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.